Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Dave here for Dave Outdoors. Uh, today I'm just out at a friend's place, uh, just at their property. It's Puhoi Village where I often go, uh, just in the North Island of New Zealand. And I'm out here today, just uh, getting out of breath actually. <laughs> I'm out here today uh, poisoning some bait stations. These bait stations are for the possums and the stoats, uh, the rats and the mice. Uh, the rodents in this country are all uh, introduced and they have had a devastating effect on New Zealand's wildlife and on uh, um, all the trees, plants, everything, particularly the possums. They eat the whole lot. They eat the, uh, they eat the fresh shoots and the, the uh, nicest shoots. So whenever you see an area that is infested with possum, you see very stunted forest growth. And they, all of them, possums included, eat the birds, they eat the eggs, they eat the chicks. So they've been uh, really devastating on the wildlife in this country and the, and the wilderness. So the best we can do these days is just try and keep the numbers down. Because they, uh, unfortunately they are here to stay unless there's some sort, of, some sort of miracle cure or something. But that's what I'm doing out here today. I've just been out baiting some stations. I've got a couple more to do. Um, it's a beautiful piece of property. It's uh, got some beautiful areas, but it's got some very rugged areas as well. The area I just came through there, right through there, that's just brambles and cutty grass. Uh, wherever you get a big open expanse of, uh, big open area like this, you'll, and it's swampy as well, you'll get that sort of stuff growing. Uh, if it's reclaimed farmland, which a lot of this, this area is. So, Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll show you around. Everywhere those orange or pink straps are, that's just an indication of the track and the traps. Here's the, uh, or the station, here's the bait station right here. Two straps or two tapes around a tree is an indication of a station. One is just the continuation of the track. <laughs> Bush gets really thick in some places.
This is one of the reclaimed by the bush parts of the farmland. Because as we're looking up there, that's actually the old road. One of the old roads around this place. This is my quick access out, only about five minutes from the edge of the bush and then down to my vehicle. And this hill gets steeper every time. I've got to stop eating pizza. Still on the road. And it's, uh, well, the old road, and it's just closed right in. It really is quite something. How much this bush will just reclaim back what it's lost. Sometimes the challenge to getting outdoors is the uh, time to do it and somewhere to go. I looked around my local area in the vicinity of the city that I lived in and I have a friend who uh, whose family owns this farm and so I volunteered to do some work on it. I said I, I will come out and I'll do the possum baiting for them and that freed them up to do other work around the place and they've given me free access to the farm. Uh, I'm allowed to come on here anytime I like even if it's just to do camping and I'm able to light fires if the conditions are con uh, conducive to that as well. So it's really good situation. But how I did it was I actually just got out there and I really looked in detail at what was around the place, what I could do. And uh, sometimes that's all it is. It may not be a, a whole farm that you have access to with bush property, but there may be a bushwalk in the local area. There may just be an uh, overgrown piece of property that you're allowed access to. That you can go in and just camp out and practice your bushcraft. You know, somewhere in the area, there's a place uh, we can all go. So keep looking and you'll find it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is the end of the road for me today. Uh, down there is uh, my van. And I'm looking forward to sitting in and turning on the stereo and getting home. So thanks for tuning in.